Hi everyone, this is Samaria and today as promised we're going to talk about getting rid of distractions that you did not know were there. Now we've talked about distractions, most people know a little something about distractions, you've heard about distractions in church, but you may have not been aware that there are certain distractions that you can become uh, privy to that you are not aware of, okay? So let's talk about distraction is anything uh, that takes you off of focusing on your purpose and your assignment anything or anyone this is why when you meet someone new whether it be a potential friend or a potential mate they must be clear about their purpose and their assignment and they must be able to articulate to you and vice versa what what their purpose and their assignment is if they cannot do that or they are unclear leave them alone they will be a distraction okay another area of distraction i talked about on facebook i think it was on monday i talked about how a lot of times christians get caught up in quote unquote christian based gossip that means there are people that run christian based news channels on their facebook feeds and all they really are 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 supposedly they're supposedly uh ministries but if you really listen to it they're really nothing more than a tmz or lipstick alley um to to um spread gossip and rumors so any ministry that spreads gossip or discord about your latest celebrity christian ministry christian church christian no name church in general these uh, these ministries are distractions. You can get caught up in someone else's foolishness, but they're distractions to your purpose and your destiny. You cannot be you cannot be fully satisfied with your life if you are constantly focused on what someone else is doing or not doing. And you know people are distracted because everything they post on social media is about somebody else. They may got one thing going on. Or maybe nothing going on, but the topic of discussion in, is, is always about what is wrong with someone in the body of Christ, what this person is doing, what that person is doing, X, Y, and Z. And you're like, girl, what, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? You cannot be satisfied with your life. And I said it before, you cannot be satisfied with your life and be able to focus on your purpose and your assignment if you were always focused on what someone else is doing. What someone else is doing entirely has nothing to do with you, but you are constantly that's a big distraction okay so if you haven't read that those who follow me on facebook make sure you read through that because it goes more into detail okay other distractions are anger and unforgiveness offenses you cannot walk into your purpose and your destiny and focus on your assignment if you are operating in anger and unforgiveness it does not work expectations of other people um for those who are in the counseling field you know there's a concept called family systems therapy or um, we look at dysfunctional family roles and what happens a lot of times even as christians we get caught in our dysfunctional family roles that are not a part of our assignment so you have family that wants you to come and take care of them and fix it and that's not a part of your assignment you love them but it can become a distraction because it is not where god has called you or assigned you to be just because they're your family doesn't mean they're assigned or called to you sometimes you just got love from a distance right because it's a distraction and like my pastor told us you can miss god and miss your purpose full of people that you love don't do it don't do it um procrastination i said in our last um check in that when god gives you a purpose in assignment it is time specific just like when you go to school and your professor gives you an assignment and says it's done by it needs to be done by this time to get a grade same way with god when he gives you an assignment it's always preparing you for something greater so the assignment that god has you in right now is time specific and so if god is telling you to work on something right now you have to do it right now to be able to pass the test but god gives you time specific assignments and you can miss your purpose because you did not submit your assignment in time okay other things are trials and tribulations romans eight thirty five. who shall separate us from the love of god trials distress persecution famine nakedness none of these can actually separate us from the love of god right but if we allow it it can be a distraction because of our wrong perception for example tribulation means great suffering or trouble 
Distress means extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. Uh, persecution is hostility or treatment based upon race, religion, or political beliefs. Famine is lack of scarcity, uh, food, or needs. Nakedness is to be exposed or vulnerable. Peril is imminent danger. So when we begin to experience these things, if you don't have a right view, Right, because God didn't say we want to go through troubles, struggles. But if you get discouraged and you allow the pits of life to define your destiny, you can get distracted right there and stay the rest of your life there. Dr. Miles Monroe said the greatest potential is in the grave. That means that people have died, never fulfilling their potential, their purpose, or their destiny. Don't let what you go through stop you from pursuing what God has for you to do. Depression and anxiety, you cannot move forward, right? You cannot move forward and see a purpose in your destiny. If you are, are depressed and anxious, all right? You cannot do You cannot leave from a place of depression. You cannot leave from a, a place of anxiety. So I encourage you as a therapist and as a counselor, get help if you struggle in that area so you can be able to move forward in your purpose. Um, a lack of discernment. You're tossed <laughs> to and fro by every wind and doctrine. I, I've, I've been disappointed, I guess I should say, in the body of Christ as a whole. Someone puts out an opinion and because it sounds good, we just run with it. And it's half the stuff is not biblical. Okay, have some discernment. Know the word of God for yourself because the Bible says in the last days false teachers will rise up and they are able to perform signs and wonders. If you don't know God, if you don't have discernment, if you don't know the scripture, you will be deceived. Right? And the enemy wants to deceive us to stop us from fulfilling our purpose. And lastly, complaining. Complaining. You cannot complain your way into destiny. You cannot complain your way to destiny, right? Most of the pe uh, people of Israel did not make it to the promise that God had preordained for them because they kept complaining. Learn to be grateful whatever God has you, okay? There's so much more that I can say. However, this is our Thursday check-in. Learn to get rid of distractions that you don't even know were there. And social media, I said, if social media, you get so stuck on social media, or what someone else is doing, you just uh, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, I love Instagram. Like I didn't, I didn't discover Instagram. I love it, but social media. You can get distracted and not focus on your book or your study or your prayer time because you on social media. Okay, so get rid of those distractions and stay focused. A symptom of a person not being focused or not are being distracted if they lose track of time and they cannot account account for their time. Again, they lose track of time and they cannot account for what they did with that time and two things i hate i cannot stand excuse me is it when someone wastes my money and they wasted my time now if you do it once shame on you if you do it twice shame on me and it's not gonna happen okay all right god bless you this has been our thursday check and follow me samariacobra.com youtube instagram uh most of the social media sites twitter whatever you want to do <laughs> all right god bless you have a wonderful thursday bye